Hi, Corey with Gold Rush Expeditions. Today we are out at the Montreal Star Mine. This mine is, as the crow flies, about seven miles from the infamous Berkeley Pit. That means that everything in this area is super highly mineralized. They call Butte the richest hill on earth. It has more tunnels underneath it than there are miles across the United States of America. Millions and millions and millions of dollars pulled out because this is a large cap of mineralized deposits. You got copper, you got gold, you got silver. Super hard to find properties up here and this is a super awesome property. Quick history on the Montreal Star. So this mine operated late 1800s. It operated right up into the 1940s when it was shut down by the War Act. In 1975, it was being operated by some lessees that were pulling out ore. They had about 500 feet of at it workings, including drifts and a 100 foot shaft that hit an unknown number of workings. That is supposedly where they were getting lots of copper and gold from. Uh, the family that owned it in 1986 got hit up by the BLM and the BLM said, we want proof of discovery. And even though they had people come out here and show that there was minerals in discovery, the fact that the people hadn't worked it for seven, eight years, they called the claim invalid and closed it down on them. Strangely enough, four or five years later, they did a complete reclamation. When I say reclamation, that was 1993, when reclamation wasn't nearly as clean and sexy and it really involved just a backhoe and backfilling anything that you can find. You're gonna see that when we walk through the site. We'll show you where the shaft was. We'll show you where the adit was. It's kind of a sad thing, but it's also something that can be easily remediated with the same tools, that being a backhoe and some shovels and get in there. So let's go take a look. This is the shaft. It obviously pushes some water up and it's a whole lot of backfill. Why do I say it pushes water up? Look at all the bushes and weeds and everything that are coming there. Probably plugged and not even plugged at that point. I think if they had the plug, then uh, you wouldn't have all this water coming through. I think they just stuffed a bunch of dirt in it. So not too difficult to clean up. Pretty easy. Pretty, uh, uh, do we want to call it a half-assed reclamation job? Sure. Nice huge dump. Yep. Look really closely. You can see that's pretty much just limonite, which is where your gold is going to form. It's also super oxidized. As we said, everything right there is very oxidized means it was in the water, but yeah, see that right there? That is flat and it's got little bits of pyrites and then if you wipe the pyrites off, you've got little bits of gold. I have a really good one here, I just got to find it for you. Here you go. So some really good pyrites. Possibly a little galena and then iron. Nice. So, collecting our little sample pile, at least the first of them, right? Yep. Grizzly. Rawr. So, yeah, what you're looking at there is the grizzly that probably sat up here because they had shaft right here, add it right there. So everything was coming right here. So separate out the big stuff. This likely came out to where you can see there was the remnants of a loadout out there. And the 19, what was it, 93 report from Montana Bureau of Mines and Geology was very clear in the fact that they destroyed all of the buildings and structures that were up here when they came into the reclamation. So, That's yeah. Better. Okay, let's look at that grizzly. Grizzly. So this would have been their loadout. 
which makes good sense because this road wraps right around. You can get, start to see a view of how massive these dumps are from here. And if you look under your feet, you're standing on big freaking dumps too. Look over here. All this that we're on is dumps. So I'm down here just kind of at the bottom of the dumps. Where we're just walking, you can see Jess is up there. So we've got a pretty good dump pile here. Now none of this is processed, none of this is mill. This is all dump. And the reason this is dump is because they are so close to Butte and there's so much processing there, that would be the cheap place to take it to. Yeah. You can see the uh, Elon still loves to uh, knock down trees to hide things from you. Any given trail you find, you find knock down trees, probably follow that trail because there's probably something cool at the end of it. Historically, putting it together, like I said, there was a, a, an adit that was 500 feet at least, and then a shaft with an unknown reported number of workings. At least it just went down 100 feet to where it started hitting the ore zone, which would probably put us a right about right here. So it's going to be the adit and the dumps from the adit, and what we were looking at up top was all the shaft and the dumps from the shaft. Yeah, this was definitely an adit, and like I said, there's water seeping out. Kind of looks like they might have just done a little blast on them to close them. Probably did. Just bring a little backhoe in and you're good to go. Yeah. Like I said, just follow the water. Where the water is exiting is where I would start digging. The most interesting thing to us as Gold Rush and as a company when we look at this is that uh, somebody put their heart and soul into this mine. Somebody worked and dug, this was their dream. It was sold, people made money out of it, and that went all the way up into 1986 when the government and the EPA, the BLM just came and took that all away from these people. Just took their livelihood, took what they had owned for years, and said, hey, too bad, so sad. Um, you don't own any of this anymore because mining is bad and we hate mining. Mining isn't bad. It's never been bad. It just is a matter of how it's executed. But that's really the reason for what we do is that, you know, in our eyes, if it wasn't for us being out here doing this, all these things would be lost. People would forget they were out here. They would fade away and they would forget that mining was even a thing and even a way to make a, a living and a way of life. And really, for the people that don't want to be in a box, that don't want to be in a city, that want to just come out and make a lot of money and work really hard and see the benefits of those of that work, mining is the way to do it. Mining is, I mean, it's natural. You're taking what the earth has to offer you and bring it out. It's not damaging the environment. You know, there's so many ways that mining companies are cleaning up and being greener, even massive mining companies today that the, the idea that we can't mine our own minerals on our own lands is just ridiculous. And that's really, you know, what Gold Rush is built on and why we're here.